Hello, everybody. And of course, sorry, I didn't get a video out yesterday, but circumstances happened of I was exhausted and my bed said no. So I didn't really get out of bed. But uh, happy Tuesday, everyone. And I just wanted to make a quick video letting everybody know that starting next week is going to be starting my new work schedule. So my videos may be as sporadic as they have been last week or so. So I apologize in advance. I will be doing a video either tomorrow or Thursday on the children of Loki for Cece because she asked so nicely. And I encourage anyone else to put down any ideas for any other videos or any other gods, God's children or whatever you want to hear about uh, in the, just down below in the comments. And I'll be happy to oblige or just send it to my Twitter or my Facebook, I'll be happy to answer and I'll be happy to do a video on them. Today I'm doing one that is probably very well needed for some people. It's how to cut ties with uh, others. And even though sometimes we don't want it, even though sometimes we're like, oh, they'll change, they're fine, don't worry about it. It sometimes becomes very necessary. And even recently with me, I had somebody who I knew I was going to have to cut ties with sooner or later. And it became much sooner than later. I don't do the whole, well, I want to be friends in real life, so I deleted you off my Facebook. In my opinion, right there just means, I want you to only know limited stuff about my life if I tell you. And I don't want you to know what I'm saying about you or about other people on Facebook or the internet. Or, I don't want you involved in my life technically. I just want you where I need you. Or when I can use you. Or when I need you to do something for me. Basically, what it boiled down to. And I pretty much told this person to have a nice life and enjoy it. I just won't be in it. And I block them because I'm not going to deal with them trying to do a pity party towards me. Or do what they did to their ex and try to make them jealous over something. Which, honestly, was also the last straw with me. But this person is no longer in my life and I hope them the best. If I see them in public, I'll smile and be nice because that's the kind of person I am. But when you have to break ties or end a friendship with somebody, it is hard. Sometimes it's easy to walk away and never look back. Other times you're sitting there going, is there a way we can fix it? Or you're like me and you're like, all right, have a good one. Bye. And you don't let it affect you. I've let it affect me sometimes. This time around, I was just waiting for it to happen because they changed from the person that I knew to somebody who I didn't want to be around. Especially if they could justify lying to me for me having an opinion about something. Yeah, me disagreeing with one of your opinions does not make grounds to go, Oh, I don't feel good. I, I don't want people to see me like this. Then yell at your friend that same day after you told me that you weren't going to go somewhere that tagged you in a picture because you went to their birthday party instead of tell instead. You know, the easiest thing a person could have done is just say, hey, I have to go to this birthday party. I'm sorry I can't meet up with you instead of making up some lie. Which, in that case... That was when I knew I had to cut the straw and was like, okay, whatever, and started believing anything they said with a grain of salt. Because I could not trust them the second they spit out a lie. And that is a good reason to cut ties with a person if they keep lying to you. If a person is willing to lie to you about something minuscule like, I don't feel good, I don't want to go out, and then goes out and goes to a party and is hanging out with people, just saying that they don't want to be around people, then you should start questioning that. And you should, by all means, confront them. If the person's making up excuse after excuse after excuse not to uh, meet up with you, 
there should be a red flag there as well. If you've known this person for years and years and you've known them to be flaky, but it's just their quote unquote nature, maybe it should be your nature to walk away from that. Because if a person keeps flip-flopping like that, best bet is, is they're not really putting anything into the friendship, especially if something happens they run to you and expect you to fix it. And after you do, you don't even get a thanks or anything. They're just using you as a convenient escape goat or a convenient, that's my cat's tail, or a convenient means of being used. Especially if you're willing to help them move and then you don't hear from them for weeks. Those people are the type of people that are just users that you just need to walk away from. You need to cut ties by either deleting or blocking them on Facebook or any social media to be exact. Um, you need to do a cord cutting. I'll go over how to do a proper cord cutting on another video. You can have a, another person do it or you can do it yourself. It... Cutting ties with somebody is better than allowing yourself to be used, and it's better on your psyche. Because emotionally, some people can't do it. Physically, you can't do it either. So walking away from people sometimes is a good thing. And may that be family, friends, anyone. Sometimes you do what you have to do and what you have to do for yourself. Always think about what's best for you, not what's best for everyone else. Because in the end, you're the one who matters the most to you. And it's your mentality, it's your mind, it's your passion, it's your life. No one else. No one else can be the harbinger of your happiness. No one else can be the person who makes you feel like you're worth it. You have to rely on yourself in the end. Blessed be.